sensitivity. Set RX gain at 10. All metal to 65. Discrimination 85. Now go to ground filter. Set it for 5 Hz band pass. Go to ground tracking. Set for auto track. Soil normal. Offset 0. And speed 25. Go to transmit frequency, set for 3 frequency, best data, and offset 0. I'll go to search audio, hit the zoom view button, go down to tone, and hit enter. Fix threshold to 150. VCO threshold to 128, target tone to 200, and overload tone to 60. Now go to search audio, go to discrimination, open that, and make sure threshold is not on, tone ID and moderation don't affect anything in stereo mixed mode. Now let's go down to stereo mixed mode. In stereo mix mode, make sure threshold is on, tone ID is on, moderation is off, VCO is off. Now you should be able to hear discrimination with no threshold in your right ear and then all metal in your left ear with threshold. Now go to pinpoint audio and put an X in the VCO. This will have VCO on during pinpointing. In this section, pay close attention to the EMI chatter in the stereo left channel. This all metal threshold channel can be used to tweak settings to help eliminate EMI. Hitting the arrow up and down will momentarily open the live control menu. Holding down the zoom view button and hitting the arrow down will hide and close the live control menu. Holding down the zoom view button and hitting the arrow up will unhide and open the live control menu. So with these controls, I will open the live control menu. Now if you're listening to this with headphones, you will clearly hear the effects of EMI in both your all metal threshold left ear and your discrimination right ear. Along with EMI in your right and left ear, you will also get false VDI numbers appearing on the screen. Now let's take the RX gain and drop it down until the EMI clears up and then you want to take it back up until you just start to get EMI chatter in your left ear. Now once you get some EMI chatter in your left ear, go to transmit frequency on the live control menu. Now we're going to go to offset frequency. I usually start at plus 5 on the offset frequency and then I just go through them all until I find a frequency that sounds the best. So clearly negative 4 is the best sounding frequency, so that's the frequency we'll stick with. Now that we found the clearest running frequency, let's go back to RX gain. 
and we're going to take that up until we get a little bit of chatter again. Now let's go to the ground filter and see if that clears up any of the EMI. In this case, the ground filter doesn't clear up any EMI so it's best to take it back to 5 hertz, fan pass. Now let's go back to transmit frequencies. Here we're going to try salt, and sometimes salt, it clears up the EMI. But here in this case, it does not. So we'll try single frequency now. Out of all three frequencies, the 7.5 kHz frequency seems to be the best. Now let's try turning the RX gain down. With the detector set up this way, it's definitely capable of doing some metal detecting. But I prefer three frequency mode, so let's set it up in three frequency mode and I'll show you the way that I like to set it up. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take the metal detector and we're going to set it up for the maximum amount of EMI that I can set it up for. In other words, I'm going to take the offset frequency and I'm going to set it up to where it detects the most amount of EMI. Now normally you wouldn't do this, but I'm doing this just to show you an example of how you can get rid of EMI. Now EMI conditions don't usually get worse than this but I'm going to show you how to clear it up. Now we'll leave our RX gain at 10. Now turn all metal down. We'll turn it down to about 3540. Now we'll turn down discrimination down to about 65. Now I think I'll turn all metal down just down a little bit more down to 30. The machine's running smooth enough right now but we'll turn the RX gain down to get it to run a little bit smoother. Now an RX gain of 6 sounds pretty good, but to get a little bit more depth out of the machine, we're going to turn on the TX boost. Now this is what a quarter sounds like. Now even at an RX gain of 10, 
recorder sounds great. Even in pinpoint mode, the machine's not showing much EMI. And you gotta remember, I set the frequency offset to have the maximum amount of EMI that I can get it set for. Don't forget to listen to your detector for you can make little tweaks here and there just to clear it out. Well, I hope this video was helpful. Uh, good luck and happy hunting.